Socrates. I want to do a rant about something that I think about all the time. Every time I hear a woman call a man a liar, I always think the same thing. And that's that all women are liars and manipulators. They're raised to be that way. Sorry, ladies, it's just the truth. Moms teach their daughters by their actions how to manipulate from a very young age. Little girls play tea and house. And during that time, they learn how to mentally manipulate and get people to do what they want with words. While men are learning to do things with their hands, play different kinds of sports, build things. <clears throat> Women are taught to control with their minds. Television teaches both how to manipulate as well how to dress to impress sexually and exaggerate good features while covering up the bad. In other words, distorting or lying. Women's magazines that are made for and by women teach how to gold dig and manipulate simultaneously with articles like how to wrap him around your finger, how to make your boobs, ass, legs, stomach, neck look like anything but what they actually do, how to get all of his money, how to land a rich man. They're teaching how to lie and deceive. One cause currently for feminism is to make it so that men who lie about how much money they have and get a woman to sleep with them is considered rape. They want to make that considered rape. Yet women, from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet, lie constantly to get that same man. Does that not matter? I think Miss Universe pageant should have no makeup round. If we're judging the best looking female in the world and all of them are coated in makeup and we know that you can make a two and two a 10, easy. Just look it up guys, do yourself a favor. Just Google it, makeup how much it can change the looks before and after. It is insane. Look up like porn stars with no makeup. You'll be shocked. Makeup companies teach women how to make their cheeks, eyes, skin, nose, lips, eyebrows look anything like but their faces. Anything but their actual fucking faces. Bra manufacturers advertise that their models push their boobs together and up, you know, so they don't look like a set of fucking googly eyes. In other words, to make them to lie. Women jeans manufacture, make jeans for women, you know, pull up their ass and sometimes it makes it look like because their ass is so fat and droopy, like they have one big giant ass cheek. I'm sure everyone's seen that before. And they push that shit together and make it look like anything but their fucking ass. Women's shoes manufacturers, high heels, make their legs look more shapely and shove their ass more up in the air. Women's razor manufacturers, all this made for and by women, by the way. Razor manufacturers, you know, advertise on women having silky smooth legs, even though they're a bunch of hairy monsters just like dudes trying to make them not look like the primate species that we are. The hairy ass mammals that we are. Shirts, I don't know what they're called, that hold women's stomachs in. Or cinch that shit together, you know, the old thing where they pull them strings tight as fuck. Well, now they got that with just different materials and they don't need strings anymore. To hold their stomach and sides in and to push their tits up. But yet they don't want creeps to look, you know, at their ass and their tits hanging out. Well, don't have them hanging out then. You know, if you, if you put something in public, you can't expect people not to look at it. Women dye their hair, get weaves and extensions, 
Yet many of these same women hate bald men. High heels to jack them up into the sky, and yet they hate short men. There's this popular meme in our culture that you don't ask a woman what her age is. Yeah, one more time that they can't be honest. This is not acceptable. Women, stop lying. When a two wears makeup and she looks like an eight, the problem isn't all about that she's lying, even though that is part of it. She's not being honest about who she is. But when she dresses up and she puts on a whole bunch of makeup to make her shitty ass skin and her face look pretty enough to be an eight, she acts like an eight or a 10 even. And she treats people like shit. And she considers dudes that wouldn't talk to her if she had no makeup on creeps. And she don't want them hitting on her. That's the problem, is that I could just say, oh, it doesn't mean anything. If they wouldn't act like assholes when they, when they felt like they were something, when they were dressed up. If they didn't act like that, I might not think too much of it. But the problem is that there's this double standard. They want dudes to get in trouble for everything, and meanwhile, women aren't even allowed to be questioned. And many of these things that aren't allowed to be questioned, they are clearly in the wrong on. It won't be wrong if they can just be honest, you know? If you have to get up and put on makeup the next morning after and then rush back to bed so he doesn't see you with your regular human face that you were born with, you're a lying piece of shit. You're hurting the human race. You know, you know, and another thing is if you didn't wear so much fucking makeup, maybe you wouldn't destroy your skin so much. <sighs> Have acne and fucking crater faces. Tons of bitches like that. Now, don't think that I fucking don't like makeup. No, I want, I want women to wear makeup. Cover up them fucking faces. Make that shit look better. But I'm just... I have a problem with this whole culture of lying and the fact that we can't even address it or question it or that we're not even allowed to say what it is. That's where I draw the line. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Only I give a shit about double standards and bad ideas. And that to me is a bad idea when you can't even admit what it is. Now, dudes shave their faces because they don't want a beard, right? We're not, we're not trying to pretend like we don't have hair on our face. Big difference. So, I'll leave you with one last thought. I don't know who said this quote. I couldn't find it, but it was said once. Uh, ladies, next time you go to tell the man that he's a liar, remember that he didn't wear, he didn't put on makeup that morning. He didn't put on high heels. He didn't put on jeans that make his ass look, push it up in the air and a bra that pushes his tits up in the air and a shirt that squeezes, makes his stomach look like it's smaller. He didn't do any of that bullshit. He didn't wear foundation to cover up his skin. I'm fat. I don't give a fuck, yo. I don't give a fuck. If I cared that much, then I guess I would lose weight, right? Otherwise, I don't give a fuck. But what I'm not doing is trying to pretend. That's about all I got to say on this rant. I'm happy to get this shit out. Until next time, I've been Socrates. Peace.